Do you mind uh, going into some of the supply and demand dynamics of boron, but more specifically, why it's so important to find another source of calcium boron specifically? Sure, love to. Um, on the demand side, there's well over 500 products and hundreds of buyers right around the world that require boron to make all these good things that, uh, that I mentioned earlier that we all use every day. While on the supply side, uh, basically you can count all the boron mines in the world on one hand. So <laughs> on one side, you've got hundreds and hundreds of products, hundreds of, of consumers of boron. And on the other side, you've got uh, a half dozen suppliers. So there's a great imbalance between supply and demand. In fact, demand is uh, uh, outstripping supply by uh, a large margin today. And that gap is growing each and every year. Um, and that was before decarbonization. Decarbonization is the game changer. Because of decarbonization, um, the, the, the world can expect to see a tenfold increase in demand for boron um, uh, uh, for all, you know, all these reasons that we were talking about. You know, for example, I like to tell people that a Tesla, uh, which everybody equates to lithium, there's actually more boron in a Tesla than there is lithium in a Tesla. A single offshore wind turbine uh, requires about six tons of boron. So all these items that are going towards, you know, making our world greener require a tremendous amount of boron in them. And, uh, uh, and, and, and calcium boron is, uh, again, uh, one of the, uh, the, the, the key types of boron required for all these different items. And uh, today, um, there's only one significant supplier in the world of calcium boron. We have the second supply, so we're sitting in a very nice position. 